Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. In today's video we are doing a gorgeous winter wreath. We're going to use some blues and whites and a little bit of black because our sign is a snow globe sign. It's going to be so pretty. The method we're using is a woodland ruffle also known as a cruffle. But before we get going, I wanted to mention that this video is part of the Winter Wreathathon. This wreathathon is full of so many amazing wreath makers. I am the host and I am being joined by Country Charm by Tracy, Lori Bly DIY, Dave's Wreaths and Things, Jenny's Wreath Boutique, and Kathy from My DIY. The playlist for this collab is going to be in the description box and I will also pin it to the comments. For now, let's get started on our beautiful snow globe cruffle wreath. This tiny little kitten is seven months old now. Look how tiny he is. Oh my goodness, he's taking up half the table over here. All right, baby, move just a tiny bit. Let's go over the supplies for this wreath. I'm starting with some beautiful teal and white deco mesh. Both of these are 10 inches in width and 10 yards in length. Some pipe cleaners, of course. The ribbon that I'm using is super cool. This is the fuzzy ribbon. Of course, I have the black and white and the white and light blue, both wired edges. And both feel like those warm and cozy socks we get from everyone at Christmas. Look at this. It is so beautiful, so elegant. I cannot wait to work with this ribbon. When it comes to the sign, I thought this was very appropriate. And the little Christmas trees have little cardinals. There's little snowflakes. And the little snowflakes and the snow are a little iridescent. So I thought I would give a little uh, sweet touch to my wreath using some of these little fuzzy balls. I don't have a lot of them. This is left over from previous project, but I thought just a little bit around the wreath would be really, really nice. You can also use those glitter vase fillers from the Dollar Tree. I always have these on hand. For my wreath form, I decided to use the 14 inch silver metal wreath form from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to start by attaching the mounts to my sign because I want to give the super glue time to dry a little bit. I'm going to cut off the juke cord that's on here and I decided to attach three mounts on the sides and in the center here. So let's grab our super glue. The next thing I'm going to do is hot glue around the mounts and the reason that I do that is because the adhesive that holds this little foam part to the actual mount is not that good and one time I had a sign that came off not because of the adhesive but because the white part separated from the actual mount. So that is why I'm grabbing a hot glue gun and I'm going to go around and just unite everything together. Now I'm going to let this dry and start working on my wreath. Now it's time to cut our deco mesh rolls. I'm going to keep one of the rolls on the inside, the other one I'm going to put on the outside, and I'm going to cut them at the same time. When it comes to cutting your deco mesh to make the cruffles, you can cut them anywhere from 20 to 24 inches. If you cut them at 24 inches, you are going to use up a full roll, all 10 yards of deco mesh, and you are going to have 15 pieces Per roll. We need 30 pieces for this wreath so I'm going to have 15 of each and that'll be perfect. So let me just overlay grabbing my roller cutter and I'm going to start cutting at 24 inches. I'm going to roll them together and put them in my laundry basket and off I go just like this. Now it's time to cut the gorgeous ribbon and I'm going to be cutting it into 12 inch strips and we are going to need 15 of these. The way I cut my ribbon is I measured my 12 inches or 
whatever the length I need it to be. And then I zigzag until I get to 15 or in this case, I might do it a little earlier because it's kind of fluffy and fuzzy. Let me cut it off right there. And then what I do is I go to the edges, fold them in half, and I'm going to cut dovetails. When I do that, I do two things. I cut my strips and I make dovetails at the same time on two of the strips. Once I'm done with one side, I'm going to flip and do the same thing on the other side. My black and white ribbon, measure 12 inches, make a little fold, and now I'm zigzagging the ribbon until I get to 15 strips, and I'm also going to do dovetails. For this wreath, I'm going to need 15 pipe cleaners, fold them in half, cut them, and then make a little V with them so it's easy to grab my little cruffles. Now that everything is cut up, let's start on the wreath. This wreath has six sections. In each section, we are going to put five pieces of deco mesh. Five times six gives us 30, and that is what we have. And we have 15 of the white, 15 of the teal, let me separate these. As far as attaching our deco mesh to our wreath form, I'm going to interchange the colors going white, teal, white, teal, white, teal, all the way around. The teal one, I'm going to do a simple cruffle and attach. The white one, I'm going to do a cruffle and then add my ribbon. Before I make my cruffles, I am going to grab one of those clamps. You could grab a clothespin, whatever you have on hand. I'm going to start with the teal and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little curl and I'm going to curl it two, three times, about an inch in diameter and then clip it off. Then I'm going to grab my scissors or anything you have on hand and I'm going to pull it away from me. And now on this side, I'm going to make a few curls and bring it together. Grabbing my little pipe cleaner, I'm going to go right on top and then I'm going to push my curl back, give it two twists in the back and we have our first little woodland ruffle or cruffle. I have plenty of pipe cleaner in the back to attach to the two center rows and that's what I'm going to do. A few twists and I'm just going to fold it back. Now we're going to go for the white. A few curls on one side, going to clamp it, go on the other side, a few curls here, and we're going to bring it together. Now I'm going to grab my two pieces of ribbon, and if you want, at this point, you can just clamp this part so you can take care of the ribbon. I'm going to overlap them. It doesn't matter which one's on top, which one's at the bottom, because when I open it at the end, they're all going to be in their separate little places. Bring them together in the center, and I'm going to insert it straight into my little cruffle. How pretty is this? Put my pipe cleaner on, push this back, and at least two twists in the back and attach. I'm going to attach to rows two and three, the two middle rows. Here's a little tip when you have continuous ruffles or cruffles to add, or sometimes the little Nadia bows that I do, I like to work with my wreath form upside down. Just keep it down and you go around. It's just easier to work like that. So next I'm going to grab my teal again and make another woodland ruffle. Now the pipe cleaner, pull it back, two twists, and attach it to the wreath form. Next, I'm going to do a white one. And at this point, we are working on a repetitive basis, making our little cruffles and attaching them. Clamp that together, grab my ribbon. Look how beautiful this is. And don't forget, when it's all filled in, this part is going to get squished up a little bit. So it's going to be super full and super beautiful. As far as the ribbon, we will take care of that last. I'm at my halfway mark, which means I filled in three sections, 15 cruffles, 
and this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to fill in the remaining three sections and I'll be right back. I am done attaching all my decomash, my cruffles, and this is what it looks like from the front. Now let's attach the sign. I have three pipe cleaners and I'm just going to attach them to my mounds. Two twists. I'm going to try to see where I want my sign to go and then I'm just going to flip it, attach. Now that I have it approximately where I want it, I'm going to start taking some of that deco mesh and taking it out so my sign can get sunk into the wreath and become part of the wreath. I'm not taking out all the cruffles from underneath because we do want to have a base for our sign to sit on. Now that I like where my sign is, I'm going to flip over one more time and then attach and lock in my pipe cleaners. Now that my pipe cleaners are in place, I'm going to grab a jute cord. This is the piece of jute cord that was on the sign. And I think I'm going to just put it on row two and three, make a knot, and that's going to be our hanging loop. It's a fairly thick piece of jute cord. And then I'm going to pull it out through the front of the wreath and we have our hanging loop. I decided I do want to cover the back so I'm going to use a little placemat. I know it's red but you know there's some red on this wreath and it's really not going to show. Plus three zip ties and I'm going to zip tie the placemat to the outside rim of the wreath form in three places. The reason I use three zip ties only when I do this is, well, it's enough to make sure that this stays in place. And the main reason is I can get into anywhere in the wreath and fix anything if it needs fixing. Now I'm going to cut off the tails and send the sharp ends to the back. As you can see, my hanging loop is right there. It's not in the way. From the front, you can't even see that red. And if it did show up a little bit, it's okay. Our snowman has a little scarf and there's a little bit red on there. And of course, let's not forget the cute little cardinals. I'm going to get started on the ribbon. Pulling them apart, making sure that they show up. They are going to be so pretty. At this point, I can definitely stop, but I am going to grab those little iridescent puffs. They're so pretty. And there's not too many of those. And I'm going to just start hot gluing them to the blue, just on top, very gently. A tiny bit of hot glue. You don't need much for these to hold in place. And I'm just going to scatter them here and there. And I think they're going to look so pretty with this snow in the snow globe. It's just going to bring everything together. All my ribbon is laid out. My little iridescent puffs are attached and I love the way these colors work so nicely with our centerpiece. What did you guys think of the wreath? Let me know in the comments below. For more wreath tutorials, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And give me a thumbs up because that definitely helps this channel grow. With that being said, thank you so much for being with us. And we will see you in our next video. Bye, guys. Yes, yeah, say bye. Mwah. Bye, guys.